um, I am thinking about dyeing my hair black. But before I do that, I thought maybe let me try it out first with some semi-permanent colors. Uh, so I'm gonna start with Arctic Foxes Transylvania. I don't have it on me. Let me go get it, hold on. Okay, so I'm back. So here it is, this is what it looks like. It's literally just their logo just in black. Hold on, when did, oh, I got the eight fluid ounce bottle. My hair is short, so I'm hoping that this is enough. Just wanted to show you guys the state of my hair. It's faded a lot. So I'm hoping that this color really sticks. I know that semi-permanent colors do stick the best or I think point period blank, they only stick on hair that has been processed or bleached. So I'm hoping that this doesn't turn out patchy. This is gonna be a little bit more of an extensive video. And by that, I mean that I'm gonna be going uh, back to checking in on my hair every week or every couple of days or every couple of washes. I think that's the best one just to see how it fades. I know some people say it fades green, I think is what I've heard. So I am going to check in to see how it's doing just because I really want to see and show you guys how this fades. Is it as graceful as all the other Arctic boxes color, Arctic box colors, or is it going to be that greeny like that people have been talking about um so yeah i'm gonna have my boyfriend color my hair uh and we'll see how it turns out i will be back with black hair <laughs> am i gonna finally make a youtube debut well that's what you're doing right now <laughs> sure. so it's all in my hair now I will say it is kind of messy. I had to use, what's this stuff called? Comet to get it off the counter and to get it off the toilet. Um, it was a little teeny bit messy. So I will say I'm a little scared as to what this is gonna look like in the shower, but we'll see, trust the process. I'm confident this is gonna be very black because it stained everything very black. So be warned that this does get everywhere and it stains but I will be back after my shower to show you guys what it looks like. So here I was freaking out a bit. I thought that it stained my skin, but it actually stained my foundation. Uh, but it does, as you can see, cling to everything. Here it clung to my nails. It just stains everything everywhere, so beware. This was a ride. My tub, I don't even have a tub, I have a standing shower, so it's a lot smaller than a tub and everywhere is just covered in this black dye. It's all blue. My hands, blue. At least it came off somewhat here. And I don't know if like you guys noticed in the clip before, thank goodness it's just the makeup that just held on to the color. So uh, my foundation was just blue. Like taking off my foundation after my shower was just blue. I'm shocked the eyeshadow isn't blue too. This is so, so messy to take out of your hair, to wash out of your hair. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like, at least um, after all that that I just went through. <sighs> That's what it looks like. I will be back probably tomorrow morning because I'm going to let it air dry. I'll be back tomorrow morning with it styled and... Uh, yeah, I will continue to update you guys on how this fades, you know, per wash or how many washes in I am and what it looks like. So we will see how much worse my tub can get or my standing shower can get. Hey guys, so it is the next day. It is actually 9.30 at night, which is why I look so tired. Um, this is what my hair turned out looking like. This is it dry. I let it air dry and then I gave it a quick blow dry. I'll turn around so you guys can see it. So I don't know if it's visible, but there is something to note. My hair is very porous from about here down because it's been bleached several times. Um, and as new growth was growing in, I was bleaching my roots. My roots are relatively pretty healthy. Um, 
even after one bleaching because it's not, you know, several bleaching processes. And from what I'm seeing is my roots are pretty dark, so you can't really see any like mismatch or discoloration. Like, you know, like there isn't this big drastic difference between my roots and my mid lengths. However, the roots, my roots that were bleached just the once before when I had red hair did not take to the color. I don't know if you could see it. Let me see if I turn off this light. Oh, you can kind of see it right here and right there. You see that? They're definitely dark. They're just not as dark as everything else. Um, and it's like that throughout my whole head. I mean, I turned around and I split my hair, so I don't know if you could actually see it, but it's like that throughout my whole head. Um, it really just didn't take that well. Um, oh yeah, it's a big old patch too, right there. You can really see it's like a little highlight. Um, I'm gonna say that that's the first place it's gonna, it's gonna fade, so I don't think I'm gonna have this uh, color in much longer just because I don't really like the look of that. Um, in certain places, it's not too bad. Like on this side of my head, it looks pretty okay. It's only a little bit, but on this side, I definitely noticed it, that big blotch right there. Um, and you could say that I didn't saturate it with color. However, it is that tinge of green um, that people have been talking about. So I did, it was colored because the tinge of green is all over it, but it just didn't take really well. And it's all over my head. Like, like in the right light, you could definitely see the color shift right there um, because that's where it just, it didn't take. So I will say this isn't the best for hair that isn't, it's so strange, like the color isn't the best for hair that isn't really damaged. I'll say damaged, just, because bleaching is damaging your hair. So I will say that if your hair isn't like really processed, this won't take too well, or I don't think it'll last as long. So I think I'll give myself one more shower and then I'll come back to show you guys what it looks like after that one uh, head wash, hair wash uh, session. So you could see how bad this looks. Hey guys, so it is now two washes later. I didn't record anything after the first wash because I didn't really see much of a difference, but it is now after the second hair wash and I do see a bit of a difference and I think you guys will definitely see it. Uh, my blonde bits right there are peeking through and it seems to be all throughout my head. It'll be my roots, like an inch of root and then an inch of this blonde or brown that's coming through and it's all throughout my head like you'll see it right here it's all throughout my head and it those are the spots where um before this inch of root grew out i had another inch of root that grew out and i bleached it so that has only been, been bleached once and Typically, semi-permanent color really just doesn't take that well to uh, fresh virgin hair. I'm not sure why. I think it's because the cuticle isn't just blown out wide open, so it's not sticking. And I think that that hair is just, it's not virgin hair, it's just too healthy <laughs> compared to the rest of my head. For sure, it definitely is a little more... Um, like my virgin hair than it is for the rest of the mid the rest of my hair you can definitely see the blonde as i pull my hair up so it's definitely uh held on pretty well the color has held on pretty well on my mid lengths and ends as you can see my hair is still pretty black as you can see my bang it's still pretty black so it still hasn't faded weirdly or anything like that uh, so I'm pretty satisfied so far with it. I'm not upset or anything about my roots. Um, they're not the worst thing in the world, uh, but it is definitely something to note. <laughs> something else to note. This is still bleeding the way it did on the first day. After putting shampoo in my hair and it's like, you know, just suds it up, it's still like a dark blue black like shampoo foam everywhere it's all over my hands like I'm still staining like my fingers 
managed to whiten up after washing my hands and then I went to go wash my hair yesterday and this is how they ended up again. So it is a very, very, very messy color to have in your shower. Honestly, it still just gets all over the place. Um, if you wash your shower the first time after coloring your hair, there really isn't any point. It's staining my shower still. Um, and this has been, you know, the initial taking out of the color or like washing it out and two hair washes and it's still bleeding just the same as it did the very first time. Something else to note that I thought was really interesting was if anyone has used Arctic Fox hair color, you would know that it's a very conditioning hair color. It's like putting a, a hair mask in your hair and your hair usually typically ends up a lot softer than what it was before because it was conditioning or at least that's my experience with it. In this case, my hair is still very dry, very brittle. Um, it's not better than it was before. Um, it almost feels worse too. Like it just feels drier. Like it doesn't feel nice. Um, I don't know if you could see that. Like my hair is just kind of, it's kind of stiff. Like it kind of stays in place. And usually that happens when your hair is just like a little, a little more fried. Um, uh, and it's, it's just not, this color tip just really just didn't condition my hair the way the other colors do. And I've tried a lot of the colors. I've tried the orange, the vibrant a vibrant pink I've I've done yellow for sure uh I've done the blue the green uh I've, I've done um como se llama I can't remember the other color oh lavender I've done like the purple color and like diluted it and even diluting it with just a cheapo conditioner uh did really well in my hair and like really conditioned it and this just it didn't do anything and I even put like the conditioner I typically use to condition my hair I put that in there just to like give it an extra boost and it really just did nothing for me um it's still very very dry so I thought that was something to know if you're used to Arctic Fox colors and you kind of just expect that kind of quality this color just doesn't deliver in that aspect so that is my update I think I will do one more hair wash uh update and i'll obviously let you know if it's like my third fourth fifth wash or something like that or if i see something significant um but i don't know how much longer i'm going to keep this temporary color just because of how bad it bleeds i feel like i'm going to color oops it out of my hair and just dye my hair black because i do like the color black on my hair it's just this is not working out for me when when it comes to how messy it is so i will come back to update you as to whether it continues to bleed the way it does now currently or how long it takes for that to stop happening so i'll see you in the next check-in so this is my hair uh a little bit closer up you could definitely see it fading into the blue into the green into all sorts of colors so here you go all right so this is my last update on this hair um, I think it's a really uh, good time to finally wrap this up because my hair is looking wild now. Like you could definitely see the blonde uh, peeking through around my roots. Oh yeah, now you could see it. It's looking blonde, uh, kind of greeny, greenish tint and closer to where the black is, where the blonde and the black meet, it's looking blue. And this is after my fourth hair wash. So I am definitely planning on <laughs> permanently coloring my hair black. I don't know if anyone wants to see that process. Let me know down below if you really want to see that. But this is uh, my review for uh, Arctic Fox Transylvania. Uh, honestly, do I recommend it? I don't think so. <laughs> I think that it's just so much trouble washing my hair it is still bleeding in my shower like pitch black or a dark dark blue it's making a mess every single time I wash my hair it's fading out pretty pretty gnarly um I think you could definitely see the hue of blue in my hair so it's not exactly black it's definitely more like a blue black and I was going for more of a natural black even though it's semi-permanent color but um 
I don't know. I I I like this black because it's so just dark, but I don't really like that it bleeds so much and that it's just fading so strangely. Um, so I really just don't recommend it, especially because of the bleeding. It's just, you're never gonna have a clean tub, to be honest. So that is my hair. This is my review. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It'd be really rad to see uh, that you guys like my content. Uh, subscribe if you have not, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.